photos. Wait, why does she have videos? Why does she have videos? How is she even videoing it? Why is she even videoing it? <laughs> no, nigga! I had sex with my mom and I went back for a second. I don't know. <laughs> So I recently discovered something called Reddit and you know I decided to you know let me just go on this page that I discovered off TikTok which is called Am I the Asshole? Guys the things I was seeing on there I was like um yeah you're the asshole mate <laughs> it's you it's not it's you hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl louise lil louise pick one nothing else just lil louise pick one you're the hard is really nah the hard period in today's video i'm going to be reacting to things that i've just come across on reddit i've learned that reddit people on there abnormal different breeds i've just come to terms with the fact that they're actually there actually may be aliens living with us and those aliens their social media is called reddit i believe so i believe so before we get started into this video thank you to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video and if you guys want to learn more about these glasses just stay tuned and louise will tell you a little bit more about the specs thank you again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video glassesusa.com offers over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses including designer brand at up to 70 percent off retail price shopping online at glasses usa.com offers a risk-free shopping experience where you're able to access free shipping and returns at all times and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days if you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of choice they even have a quiz you can take online which only takes a minute and suggest the right pair of glasses based on your face shape and needs and i'll put a link down in the bio to where you can take the quiz and access their website i've been obsessed with these glasses they're so comfortable i also have a uv block on these glasses which means that i protect my eyes from the sun and also these glasses help me especially because i do have issues with my eyes especially when i'm looking at a screen for a very very long time i know it can't only be me but i do often tend to get what i call them a headache when i look at the screen too long you know watching too much netflix so when i wear these glasses the screen time doubles because i no longer get headaches my eyes no longer feel sore and i no longer get watery eyes it's helped my eyes so freaking much i'm on a zero 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 prescription baby 2020 vision but these glasses i just cannot take off and also if you're not like me and you don't really like being a glasses bay even though i think glasses are so freaking cute they also offer contact lenses yeah yeah contact lenses you thought you couldn't get any belt you just got bare yeah when i was buying my glasses i did an online virtual try on which is a virtual try on tool on their website which really helped me find my right pair it was super helpful especially because they have so much of a huge range of choices where i was able to pick from glasses i personally think that i found my pairs of glasses this is the first pair of glasses that they sent me business meeting gal you know this is the one i'm going for yeah so you guys have probably seen me rinse these glasses out so much i literally wear in every single video now i'm in my um harry potter era era you know what i mean and also don't forget to use my code for 20 percent off your next order eh. i don't really think that you should forget to like comment and subscribe and i also want to know why you're not following me on instagram it's just it's come on it's procedure guys follow procedure also watch the ads thank you um i don't even i don't know if i'm ready for this when i saw this whole am i the asshole reddit if you really think you're not the asshole you are you i was seeing madness how can you say that you've been cheating on your girl for almost a year and then you want to propose to her you're not even an asshole. You're more than an asshole. What's more than an asshole? I don't even know what's more than an asshole, but whatever's more than an asshole, you're up. Okay, let's get started on today's video, shall we? Oh my goodness gracious me. My best friend doesn't know that his kid is actually mine. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> what the <laughs> frick am I reading? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, my best friend doesn't know that his kid is actually mine. Can we just deep how mad that title is? Dude. I haven't even started best reading. Friend. Your best friend. Your best friend's kid is yours. Dude. So What's going on? When you're the godfather, you're really the father father that's crazy that means you're doing things behind your best friend's back that's mad me and my best friend tyler how are you gonna be out your friend's name wow. oh my god he was the first person i came out to as bi and the first person i told about my dad hitting me oh mm. my so you're gonna let a, I'm, mm. i can't even say that on youtube <laughs> i even stayed with his family for a while during high school that's they offered accommodation you you the roof you you welcomed a man into your house and they do a thing with your 
He joined the army out of high school and I ended up dating and moving in with his older brother. Huh? He dated his older brother. This guy could just not leave him alone. <laughs> he met a girl, Susie, while visiting me and his brother while on leave. Started dating and eventually he proposed. During the time, me and his brother were having issues and Susie was always lonely when Tyler was gone and we started an affair. Mm, that's amazing. Things started getting that's better funny. with Tyler's brother and Tyler was leaving the army and coming home for good. And we both felt guilty about the affair so me and Susie decided to end it. We had one last fling of two weeks before Tyler came home. Susie ended up pregnant and decided not to tell him the truth. I went on to marry Tyler's brother while him and Susie got married. What? Wait, 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 wait. A gay man. He's bi. Okay, bi man that's married to a man. Yeah. Had a child with another man's female. Yeah. Tyler still doesn't know that his first son isn't his and even though he almost looks nothing like Tyler, I've always felt guilty for not claiming my kid and betraying my best friend. I feel guilty, why'd you do it? That whole situation. Speechless. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I, that's that's madness. That is a mad. You had a kid with your best friend's. I'm gonna lie, it just looks like he's jealous of his best friend. You know how like, many years you're, it with, takes. you're with his brother and you took his gal. What What more can you take? You even took his first kid. That's the like, endless of all What more elements. can you do? What more can you do? You're the asshole. <laughs> you know, imagine the guy might never even know. No, but he'll find out. When the kid grows up, it'll be obvious. Oh, yeah. And the truth always comes out anyway. Next post, please. That one was a madness. I need to give you that one. I almost told my now girlfriend that I wasn't interested. See, this, you see what I mean about Reddit people? How can you just say that, like, so bluntly? You, you almost told your girl that you're not interested. Just tell her. Why are you, Why are you scared? I met this awesome girl at a college party, but I didn't know if I was ready for a relationship. Relationship. We started texting back and forth and I just thought that I wasn't ready for a relationship. I wrote this whole message in the notes app on my phone. I was about to send it to her saying I didn't want to start a relationship. He said I didn't want to start a relationship like five times. Even copied it over into Snapchat and was about to hit send. I was literally about a second from sending it. Why does he repeat himself? He says it like twice. Like, okay, we get it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I was literally about a second from sending it when I just thought maybe I should give it a chance. So I deleted it. And we went on our first date a few days later. You know he just wasted my time. Like, you could have just said that from the get-go. You didn't have to do all of that. The the title itself was misleading because she wasn't your girlfriend at the time. So the title was like intending that you're about to tell your girlfriend now that you weren't interested. Oh, 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 oh. But you're trying to like mislead her. But she wasn't your girl when you said it. So like that's fine. You're saying like it wasn't fine. That was fine. She wasn't your gal. <laughs> she could have been another guy's gal. You're replaceable, mate. Come don't forget. This. I don't even care. You did hit send that you didn't. You, you, you wasted start to charge at the end of my the day. time. Next. This Reddit post reads, my mom's a prostitute. <laughs> Let me just fix my glasses for this one. <laughs> I first found out about this when I was around six or seven. She used to go out out of the city a lot. I was always confused as I as to what she used to do, which required her to travel so much. I always worried about her even after I found out about it. So when you find out when you're six or seven, how how does a six or seven year old comprehend that kind of shit? If I'm like I'm a prostitute, how are they gonna know? Unless they watch something mad. This is why I'm not letting my kid have like any iPad until they're like 10. Her phone was the reason I, I got to know about the stuff she used to do. The videos, photos. Wait, why does she have videos? Why does she have videos? How is she even videoing it? Why is she even videoing it? <laughs> the videos, photos, messages and stuff. Never told anyone about it. I was too young to know about that stuff anyway. Also, my dad knew about this all along actually the one that got her into the work whoa see this is where it gets mad this is where it gets techie see your dad's a pimp you're your allowing wife. your gal to put her nani somewhere in some different man when you're a prostitute yeah no you know even no, i'm not even being rude yeah but it's probably you know those wizards cloaks bruv you know mm. like bro now wizards wear cloaks yeah and the sleeves are like loose oh as yeah, hell. yeah 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 so what yeah i don't understand nothing what? Like, what, what, what's she gonna say if, she, if he says how it was what? Yeah. That's crazy. It was deep. What does that mean? Throat. What does that mean? Next. Oh, and I have an insane crush on my fiance's best friend, but yes. she got scared and she deleted it. You know what? Good idea. You deleted <laughs> it. Poof. If this is like, okay. Yeah. 
I was scared of getting up in the middle of the night to use the restroom because of the dark and the restroom is all the way across the house from my room. So I adapted and pissed into an empty water bottle in which I placed it under my desk once I was finished. Fast forward two days after I'm at my desk doing homework and my mom comes in and sees this water bottle and says to finish it so I can throw it away. Now, I don't go against her word and I'm not going to say it's a bottle of piss so I picked it up and drank it. I kept it in my mouth so I didn't have to swallow it because of it burned my mouth so fucking bad. It tasted seven years of expired Pringles. Two problems. Why the fuck did you have to drink it in front of her? It's, it can't be that deep. And I want to know why you know what seven years of expired Pringles taste like. <laughs> we need a talk. That's not right. Every girl I have dated died. No, I'm kind of scared to read it. I don't know if it's gonna haunt me, but first girl I officially dated was when I was 16 to 17 back in 2013. We were together for a few months and she was found dead in the dumpster about a year and a half ago. <laughs> The second individual was a girl that I was pursuing a relationship with and she went missing out of nowhere. The third individual was just after my second... I met this girl as my... Blow thicket. Yeah, that already. I already. I didn't have to. I don't have to finish it. I. I can see why. Fourth individual. Long story short, we were friends with Benefit, and she overdosed on pills while we were that video calling each other. Her daughter found her dead. The next. Oh. She even has a daughter. That's sad. I think we. I think I've just met the Grim Reaper. Yeah. This man is the Grim Reaper. Find the block button so I can block this one. Block. It's not my portion. God. So when someone pisses on you, don't cry. Don't cry. Am I the asshole for kicking my family out of my wedding after they refuse to be in the pictures? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna read this bullshit, man. You're the asshole. <laughs> You're the asshole. What companies can go on themselves? Mm, I want to hear a little bit of this one. <laughs> um, what the fuck? I've never heard of these places. I think it's just Americans here because this is just gibberish to me. FIFA, unbelievably corrupt. I don't even know where to start. I think FIFA in this thread is the definition of monopoly. I love football and so and so much about the energy of World Cup, but I hundred percent agree. And I hundred percent do not give a fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so right. Ticket Master killer should go fuck. Oh my god, it's not funny. Ticket Master is literal monopoly of ticketing. Even if you think a site is, isn't affiliated with Ticket Master, chances are they're still involved somehow. They really wanted to snatch my money. They snatched my money, they didn't give me no ticket. Ticket Master, mm, what is 100% a scam the individual who called me yesterday claiming to be u.s customs and border patrol who said i had an illegal package from mexico in my name what would you even say to that if someone said um yeah i have an illegal parcel for you that's just landed in my depot in your name i would literally just go like no nigga this is so accurate the sugar mummies 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 the sugar mummies on instagram that keep trying to talk to me why do sugar mummies and daddies keep signing in my dm and saying that they want to give me money if you want to give me money just send it through my cash app is in my <laughs> it's in my description <laughs> you don't need to ask me questions just send through the money attractive singles in your area maybe i'm the attractive single i don't know if you guys use like fake websites to like watch things when you're watching like love island usa on like <laughs> And it's always like, there's an attractive person in your area. No. That's definitely a scam. What's something that people turn into their whole personality? If they're light-skinned, they turn that into their whole personality, their whole life. Their, their username is literally that light-skinned, curly-haired girl, Tracy. Blue-eyed, light-skinned, curly hair. Mixed race gal curly head Cheyenne. here in the netherlands people who live in amsterdam base their personality on amsterdam which is like understandable because there's she people from london go to amsterdam to do the the weedy you know the weedy to smoke the weedy to smoke the leaf to smoke this yeah uh, crypto true military wives <laughs> let's talk about something new Let's move on. Being a YouTuber. No, and why are you in my room? I swear every single brother's coming to this room. Like, what single sentence could start an argument? Calm down. 
down. Oh my, it just gives me memories. I'm getting memories. You no, know, I wouldn't call myself a toxic girl. Sometimes you just have to live life on the edge. That's what I do sometimes, you know. So when a boy tells me to calm down, I see red. Especially with this whole black girl, like whole persona of we're angry. Like if we have an arresting bitch face, we're not allowed to have one because we're angry. You want to start an argument? When someone says you want to start an argument, I think about like WWE. Are you ready to rumble? What's the Holocaust really so bad? <laughs> that I think that would that maybe just that will start a war. Trans athletes. If I speak, I am in in big trouble again. The war is coming soon. You are overreacting. <laughs> it's because I felt that one in my chest. You see, when he said overreacting, I just put the over, 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 overreact. <laughs> Reddit made me tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Well, you see what I mean by people on Reddit be ruthless and shit? Damn. Anyways, guys, I just need to rethink life and the way I think because people out here be crazy. People are losing their mind. The world is coming to a fucking end. Let me tell you that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't make it this far, let me know what you guys thought about these posts because <laughs> insane. Like, I got a lot to think about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And all my social medias are in my bio below. Also, don't forget to check out glassesusa.com for the glasses, of course. And yeah, without further ado, it's your girl Louise. And I'll see you in my next YouTube video. And that's on what? And that's on period. Mm, period putting up breakfast. Bye! And young. It was cool.